Hey guys, welcome to my 12 week pregnancy update. Woohoo, I actually remembered to record this week. If you watched my 11 week pregnancy update, it was basically like my 9, 10, and 11 week all together because I just, life was crazy and I forgot and anyway didn't record those weeks but here I am at 12 weeks ooh, ooh, and I am recording so I'm here to tell you guys how I am doing at 12 weeks pregnant I was really hoping that at 12 weeks I would be done with the nausea but unfortunately it has not happened yet I'm hoping any day now it'll go away, but it has not. <laughs> Lately it's been fine until like every, I'd say about five o'clock and on is when I'm nauseous, like every night I go to bed sick. For some reason today, I've been nauseous like all day and that's so weird because I don't know why my body is doing that. I'm still taking the Unisom and the B6 every night I hate taking them because I'm like terrified that it's gonna get stuck in my throat and I'm gonna puke again. I have not puked since the one time, thankfully, but I've just been feeling so nauseous today. I'm trying to eat as much as I can, but it's hard to eat when you're nauseous. <laughs> Other things with this week, I feel like my belly has gotten huge just this week. I don't know why, but like I put shirts on that are usually pretty baggy and it's like my stomach is already showing. So that's great. <laughs> I also feel like I am peeing so much more. I'm still not drinking as much as I should be water obviously because i'm so nauseous and water doesn't even sound good to me um so even though my water intake has not upped i am peeing so much more i swear every time i go to the bathroom i have to go so bad and i swear i pee like every hour some nights i make it all like through the night and then i just have to really pee in the morning and some nights i wake up at like 3 or 4 a.m and i have to pee so it really just kind of depends. I have been having kind of weird dreams lately and I'm not sure if it's the pregnancy or if it's the Unisom, but yeah, I have been having some crazy dreams this week. I still don't think I felt the baby move. Yeah, I don't, I don't have anything new to report on that. I'm still super tired. Last night at like 11 o'clock or 10.30, like I was just like, I could fall asleep right here. Like I'm just so tired. So I'm still really tired. Um, this morning, I have an alarm that goes off to get me up when the boys are up. Today I pushed the snooze button on it so that it would like wait 10 minutes and then it would go off again. And usually I just take that time to just like wake up slowly and just like kind of keep my eyes closed but just like think about what I need to do that day or something. And today I legit fell asleep. Like the alarm went off, I pushed news, and then before I knew it, the alarm was going off again. And I was like, has 10 minutes really gone by? And sure enough, it had, like I had fallen asleep. So it is getting super hard for me to get up in the mornings. I am just so tired lately. I don't really have cravings. Last night was craving peanut butter. So I made it myself a peanut butter sandwich which is weird for me to have cravings at night because usually I'm nauseous. And then the other day I was having a craving for like breadsticks, but it's not like I have to have it right then and there. So most of the time I just don't want to eat at all. <laughs> Next week, I am going to go and meet with my OBGYN for my monthly checkup. So stay tuned for my next weekly update and I'll have an update there on uh, baby's heart rate and anything else that happened, which I don't really think anything will. I don't know if they start measuring my fundus height, like when they measure your belly. I don't know if they do it this early or not, so stay tuned, I'll let you know. <laughs> also, um, this weekend we are gonna post our announcement to social media. Um, we told our families, I think I was like 10 almost 11 weeks when we told our families. We told them all at Porter's birthday party. Now a couple weeks later, we're gonna make the announcement to social media. I would have probably posted it earlier, but um, I wanna do this really cute announcement with the boys. Um, I went on Etsy and I got these shirts 
and um, the shirt I got for Grayson, my eldest, says big. And then I got a shirt for my second quarter that says middle. And then I got a little newborn onesie and it says little. And I found this picture from Google, I think. Um, and it's just like these two brothers and they're like high-fiving. And then there's like the, the like sonogram in the middle. So my sister's gonna come over and try and help me recreate that photo. If you guys have young kids, you'll know it is like impossible to get them to cooperate. So we will see how that goes. Um, I will uh, post the picture um, here if I get it. <laughs> I'm still getting acne a ton. You probably can't see because like the camera's kind of far away from me, but my face is just constantly breaking out in acne. I get it really bad like on my temples and um, on my chin like on my forehead. I just get it so bad. I've been getting acne so, so bad this pregnancy. I also the other day got a zit on my leg, which I was like, how does that even happen? <laughs> so I don't know, I would assume this is all pregnancy related. I mean, I'll break out here and there like regularly, but not this much all the time. We've been talking about if we wanna find out or when we wanna find out what gender the baby is. Of course we're gonna find out. I could not go the whole time and not know. Like I have to know. But there's so many different options that you can find out the baby's gender. You can do sneak peek, which is what I did with Porter, my second, which is basically like you get this kit and you prick your finger, put some blood in it, and then send it off to a lab. And then they see, um, depending on what's in your blood, if there is only girl chromosomes or if there's a boy chromosome in there and then they email you the results. So I did that with Porter. It does cost, it's like 60 some dollars. And of course there has been times where like it's been wrong. It was right with Porter. Um, so there, that's an option there. I think that starts as early as six weeks, I think they said. There's also like the boutique places where you can go in and do an elective ultrasound. Of course, this costs money as well. We did this with Grayson to find out what gender he was. Um, you just go in and you can bring, you know, friends and family and um, depending on how much you pay, they'll give you like photos or a video of the ultrasound which is fun. Um, and then the third option would be to wait until your 20 week anatomy scan, which is usually free. Usually it's covered by your insurance. I, I'm sure it's, I would think it's covered by our insurance. It usually is. We have switched insurances since I have Porter. So this new insurance that we have, I'm not sure, but it should be covered. Um, so Anthony and I were talking about what we want to do. And honestly, you guys, I am terrified to find out what the gender of this baby is. I'm scared that it's a boy. And if it's a boy, like it's okay. But I'm gonna be honest, like I think I'm gonna have like gender disappointment. Like it's a real thing. I really want this baby to be a girl just because like I already have two boys. Like I'd love to have the other gender. But Anthony's convinced he can only make boys. Like his family is like all boys. And I don't know, it just stresses me out. And so I like don't want to know <laughs> what the baby is because I don't want to be disappointed. And like obviously once the baby comes, if it's a boy, like it's fine. Like I'm used to boys. I have all the boy clothes, all the boy items, like it'll be fine, but it would be awesome to have a girl. We talked about it and we're just gonna wait until the anatomy scan and find out what it is. And then we'll do some kind of like gender reveal. I don't know what we'll do. With Grayson, we did confetti poppers. With um, Porter, we did cupcakes and inside was like blue filling. So I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do with this one. Um, <laughs> Before I even got pregnant, I was like, if I find out I'm having a boy, I'm not even having a gender reveal because I'll be so sad. I don't think, I still think that. I think I would be okay with doing it, whether, depending on, like, no matter what the gender is, but yeah, so that's kind of stressful for me. It's like, I'm a person that really likes to control things and I have obviously no control over the gender of this baby and so it stresses me out. <laughs> We still have a long time until that happens, like two more months. So 
I'm just trying not to think about it. <laughs> Everybody keeps asking me like, oh, have you thought of names yet? And I'm like, no. Because <laughs> if it's a boy, like we're gonna be in trouble because we struggled so hard with our two boy names that we already have. And to have to come up with another one is just, it's gonna be so hard. Even to come up with a girl name will be hard, but at least like we can pick like almost any name. Like we don't have previous names that we've already picked for girls. That's um, kind of what's been on my mind right now. Um, I never told you guys about the baby. I've just been talking about me. So I'll close the video about the baby. Um, so baby's at 12 weeks. They're the size of a lime. I think um, I looked online at some other comparisons because I I get kind of bored of the food comparisons so I looked online the baby's the size of a golf ball or a seat buckle like in your car so you can picture those things um, this week I have my app out so I can <laughs> read you guys what's going on with the baby this week they can uh, baby can open and close their hands and they can make a fist and they can curl their toes um, also they have fingernails growing their stomach and esophagus are forming so there you go if you were interested in knowing what's going on with the baby that is what's going on at 12 weeks so um, definitely stay tuned for my next video I will have an update on how I'm doing Hopefully I come back and I say, I'm not nauseous at all. Hopefully that happens. I'm not holding my breath. And I'll also give you an update on my doctor's appointment. This will be my second doctor's appointment. So hopefully everything looks well with baby and that all goes um, fine. So I'll definitely let you know, but thank you so much for tuning in to this update. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!